What is up you guys? Welcome to the video. So this is obviously a little bit different for me, but a lot of you guys have been seeing that I have been enjoying Animal Crossing New Horizons quite a bit and I have been I've been having so much fun with this game. I literally I don't think I've played a video game more than this game like any video game ever i cannot believe how much fun i've been having with it i think with everything going on because i am home more it just gives me more time to play and i don't feel bad about playing so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be touring my island which uh because i have no creativity at all i named it o2b island and so i know a lot of people want to see the map so we'll go ahead and check out the map first so this is what it looks like. It's nothing super crazy, nothing super special, but we got me. We also got Alice, who's super cute, and she calls me Governor. We got Julian, who has a very cool house, actually. And then we have Phoebe. So Phoebe was actually one of the first, she was the one of the first villagers on the island. Antonio here, this is my absolute favorite person in my whole island. He All he does is talk about working out. <laughs> I love him so much. Hopper, super cool. He calls me... Uh, I forget exactly what he calls me, but he's super cool. He, he looks super grumpy, but he's actually not. And then Cookie, she's really nice. Tammy, I, I, she, used, she freaked me out at first when she first came to my island with her eyes, but she's actually really cool. Annalisa, she's all right. Octavian, love this dude. He calls me Sucker. And then we have Claude, who always talks about food. So that is the map. And then if we walk through here now... I am not good at all at doing like the whole symmetrical, everything's, everything is like perfectly lined up. Not good at that at all. So what I am good at, well, I don't think I'm even that good at, but instead of doing that, I was like, okay, I want to make the island look pretty natural. So that's kind of what I went, went with with the ent entrance here. And so you enter right here, and then I put up these like signposts right here. And then I have this like custom pathing, which is really cool. I, I really like putting it on the the like the dirt path because it just looks like really worn down and so if we run through here and we have just have nook's cranny which just i just got the upgrade uh like two days ago so it's really cool and then i also like i put down these spiky fences kind of like all around all along the all, all along the way just because i think it makes it look a little nice and um i don't know i just like how it looks right there and then if you come up here we have able sisters put like a little clothesline right here and then we just like put so many trees. <laughs> like there's just so many trees all over here. And if you come to the right here, we have this like little secluded, I guess it's like a picnic area, kind of just hangout area with the campfire right here. One time I shot a balloon and it fell right into this fire and I was really bummed out. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, obviously we have the, the beach here and then I put up, I really like these tiki lamps or tiki torches. So I put them up everywhere as well as these like street lights. And so the first two villagers, so I kind of, I like my two OGs are Phoebe and Antonio. So their houses are right next to each other down here. And then everyone houses, every, all the other villagers houses are kind of further away. But we have their houses over here. And then I want to run up to visitor or the uh, whatever, services area. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Visitor services? Um, resident services area. So obviously we all have this on our island. And then I'm not sure if you saw this, but this is my, this is my flag. Got my obese to be sign on there because I'm, again, not creative at all. <laughs> but if this is the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. So this is like a little plaza area. Look at Antonio. I'm telling you, he he's always working out. He's killing it. I think Julian wants to leave, but I'm not going to let him. Uh, he calls me Cupcake. I got something for you. Oh, I thought he was trying to leave. I wasn't going to let him leave. What did he give me? Round shades. Nice. Thanks, man. You're the man. Uh, so this is like a little, like a, it's like a plaza area, kind of places like to eat. There's like a little candy thing. And then there's like a, this one over here is like a little plant thing. And then we have a little coffee one. Look at Claude. He's so cute. Um, and then we have obviously like food. I have the little menu right there. And then I made this little double waterfall just kind of next to the plaza. I feel like that looks kind of nice. Um, but yeah, the, the, the issue I'm having is that I don't, there's so many items I don't have. So there's like, I have ideas, but I can't actualize them because I don't have all the items. And I, I, I don't really want to do the time traveling. I mean, if people want to, that's fine, but I'm just, I'm not interested. I just want to play the game and to have fun. Uh, but this area over here, I'm, I'm really happy about this. Um, so this is like a little, it's like a little venue. So you kind of sit here and obviously I don't have that many, uh, instruments or anything like that. Um, but I'm trying, I'm trying to get, I need to get a drum set and like, obviously there's tons of instruments that are missing up there. 
but I wanted to make like a little, it's like a little venue. Then we have the porta potty over here, trash can as well. So you can throw away your trash. But then over here, I have like the, this is the ticket stand. These are the Sahara tickets that you buy from Sahara, but I put them on the, um, on this little thing to kind of show that it's like, this is where you buy your tickets, right? And then we have obviously the snack machine. So you can get some food while you're watching the band play. And then we have this little Zen area. I don't, I'm not really super a huge fan of this area, but I just, I needed to put something between this and the river. And so I was like, ah, I have all this stuff. So I kind of just threw this together, but coming over here, my controller is going crazy right now. Um, coming over here, this is like a little, obviously it's like a little park area. We have all of the little park things. I made sure I put a little bench for the, uh, you know, the adults watching their kids play. I've got a bunch of different slides. And then we just have, I haven't really done much to the beach yet, so it's pretty barren. There's not much to it. But if you come over here, there's like a little area where you can kind of sit and like watch the water, you know. Um, I made like a lot of, the, some of these areas, like this area I made before I had like terraforming or can make paths. So I just kind of did what I could. Um, and then coming over here, we'll run up here. And this is like the first little residential area. I honestly don't love this area because especially like this i was hoping i could put this brown path right next to the terracotta but there's like this rand like this weird like grass like space i just don't really love how that looks but this is where some of the villagers live i kind of wanted them to have all, all like a little communal area so um yeah so that's where some of them live and then also i have this over here which is like another little hangout area i really loved when the cherry blossoms were here i made as many of these lamps as I possibly could because I just think they look awesome. And you know, we have the little table, little place to sit right there. And if you come up here, this is where the other little residential area is. So we have all this stuff. We have another little area over here if they wanna come over here and chill and like watch the water again, they could do that. And I, I, the flowers are kind of going crazy. I need to work on. <laughs> actually taking care of the flowers. I'm not the best at it, okay? I, I get busy with other things. Um, but yeah, so this is where some of the other villagers live. This is Octavian's house. If you guys haven't seen the inside of his house, it is awesome. I'm gonna show you guys right now because why not? So he has like this, it's just crazy looking. And then if you talk to him, where you, come over here. Let me over there. Sucker. <laughs> Or do you really like it here? Man, okay, maybe I came in earlier today too. Sometimes, man, they will be, they will, uh, they'll just be like mean. They'll basically, like, if you talk to them more than like two times in a day, they're like, how many times are you going to talk to me? And I'm like, man, we're friends, right? I don't know why you're being such a hater. Uh, but so that's the little other residential area. And then we also have, honestly, uh, this was just bad planning on my part. And then Cookie's house is kind of an outlier. I uh, put little apple trees next to hers. But then if we come over here, I'm actually building this bridge. This will be up tomorrow. But this is going to kind of go to the secret beach, which is obviously where uh, whatever his name is, Red is, like where he parks his boat. I'm going to definitely do some like little little things on this, this beach right here once this is all set up. Um, but then if we come over here, run over here, I will show you guys my house, which is honestly pretty embarrassing because there's really not much to it. Uh, I, I definitely have not been, I don't even have the, the house fully upgraded yet because I just have, I just have not been focusing on it like at all. Like really, like, look at this. This is so sad. It's so sad. So this is, this is my living room area. Now the, the one room that I actually am proud of, I'll show you guys that last. I'll show you the room that I'm proud of last. Next I'll show you what my bedroom looks like. It's, it's honestly pretty embarrassing. I have all the lights turned off because I have this little arcade game, which was so many bells. It was ridiculous. But then obviously we have the Tiger King rug with, you know, the bell bag on the ground to let people know I got bank. <laughs> we have this lava lamp here. Really not, not much to my room at all. But then there's one room that I think is actually pretty cool. And that is this next room that I show you. I only have the three rooms right now. I just haven't really cared much to upgrade. Um, I've been spending my bells on other things. So I'm just like, I could care less about spending a bunch of money on like the house because I honestly am never in here. But this is my home gym right here. You know, we got the exercise bike. We have the ball, which is a little bit out of place, the pink one. I have a black one. I don't know why I have this one in here, whatever. But we have the bench press. We got Mr. Skeleton over here. This is what I look like now because we can't work out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we have the protein shaker bottle, you know, obviously you have to have a barbell to do your deadlifts. 
we got obviously going to do some pull-ups and then I don't actually box, but you know, why not? So that is the one room in my house that I'm slightly proud of. Honestly, it's really not that much. I just threw a bunch of gym equipment in the room, but let's get out of my house because it's absolutely embarrassing for you to even see this. <laughs> I just, I don't even, I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to update the house. Like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing in there. And I, I honestly feel like I don't know what I'm doing everywhere, but that's fine. So if we come over here, this is a new project of mine that I've been working on. This is like a diner area again. So this is like a perfect example of like, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't have the, I don't have the items, right? So like, I don't have a table. I, I put Rover's briefcase right here. Cause I felt like that kind of, it kind of matched the aesthetic of this. Um, but then we have like the, the, these lights look really cool at night, the soft serve lights. And then obviously this is like one of my favorite things in the game, the we're open sign. It's so cool. I love how that looks. And then we have the, like the retro gas station thing. We have an oven back there because, and then I use the typewriter as like, kind of like a makeshift. Um, it's like a makeshift register, I guess. And then so if we come over here now, whoop, I did not mean to do that. So a lot of my island is definitely like not finished. Like this whole third area up here, there's nothing up there because I just, I don't have, I don't know what I want to do up there yet. I was thinking maybe like a cemetery area. But if we come over here, this is a little like picnic area that I made. This is like a custom design. I thought it looked good. And then I also put the custom design on this hammock right here, just cause it, so it kind of like matches. So it's kind of like two people sitting, they're eating food over there. They're playing a board game, have some coffee. I just thought it looked really nice. And then if we come over here, this is also an area that I'm pretty proud of. Um, so we come down here, this is like the campsite area. So we have somewhere where you can sit. And then if you come over here, I like to keep the path like really narrow. Cause I feel like it makes it feel like it's more of like a campsite vibe. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I also kept like a lot of the weeds around. Cause I feel like it makes sense. Like when the tents here and stuff, and I just think it looks a lot better as a, a, a campsite with like overgrown weeds. It just makes a lot of sense. Right. And then if we come over here, so I made this is kind of like a little hiking trail. That's kind of what I think of it as because I have like, it's super tight. Obviously there's tons of trees everywhere, but then we have this waterfall, which I'm like in my head, I'm envisioning as this is like a mountain that you're hiking next to. Um, and then there's also a little, another little seating area right here. If you get tired, you know, on your, on your, uh, adventure. Now this next thing, this next thing is what I am very proud of. I'm most proud of this in my whole island. And so for that, I have to get changed. So we have to get ready. We have to, you know, be ready for where we're going. So this is my gym. And I am unbelievably proud of this. It took a lot of work, especially because this is the first time I've ever played Animal Crossing. So I've kind of been figuring this all out as I'm going. But we have the Olympic barbell area. So, you know, where people are doing clean and jerks and snatches and, and all that stuff. And obviously, you know how um, us people that do Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting, you like to sit down between your sets. So I made sure that I put a, a chair here. Um, and then also we have... I actually made this this flooring right here. It's kind of just like the flooring that I have outside or that's like what I was trying to make, you know, the black with like little white speckles. If you do CrossFit and stuff like that and you've been into CrossFit gyms, this is what a lot of the floors look like. But we have the whole boxing area over here, a bunch of different speed bags and punching bags. And we have tons of bench press because you know you got to get that those big chests to get all them gains, you know. And we have the cardio area, which is upstairs to keep it away from everything else and tons of pull-up bars so you can make sure you're doing your pull-ups and tons of barbells so you make sure that you know do your deadlifts things like that and then we also have another world open sign because again like i said it's like my favorite thing in the whole game so far that i've seen and we have a little kiosk you know this is kind of like the front desk is what i'm thinking you know they sell supplements they got some water for you it says jim yeah i made that it's very bad it's not that custom design is not very good but whatever, you know, I made it. So I like it. <laughs> and there's really nothing on this beach at all. There's nothing to show there. And then the last little area, Hey, what's up flick? I don't have any bugs for you. The last area that I have is this little beach area. So I kind of just started working on this beach area. Um, the beach is like the last thing that I've been really focused on. And I see some really cool beaches that have like tons of stuff everywhere. That is definitely not my beach. So I'm trying to work on it. Um, so I have this little custom design path going down and we have like, you know, a little place where you can sunbathe and read a book. We got a palm tree over there. Um, but then if you come through here again, I like to keep the, uh, 
the pads really short, like really small, because I feel like it just makes it like, I don't know. I like, I just like how it looks a lot. And, and you come back through here and this is, this is where we started. So this is, this is my island, you guys. Obviously there's still tons of work done. I'm pretty sure I'm still at a four star. I haven't checked in a couple days, but I haven't really done that much to make it a five star. But this is, this is the, uh, this is the island, you guys. So, uh, thank you guys so much for for coming by, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.